Hello guys, welcome to Android Noobs. Today I'm here with a review of Resurrection Remix for you Eureka. So let's begin. This ROM is based on Marshmallow. As is that, I'm going to show you in a minute. Yes, Android version 6.0.1 Marshmallow. That is focus. As you can see, 6.0.1 and resurrection version 5.6.5 so this is the latest version of the rom as of now so this rom comes with plenty of features packed in so without any further ado let me show you it one by one so first let us take the battery battery backup of this rom so as you can see i have been using it since morning in full charge and there's still 11 percent left that's good that's very good for me the for the my usage i don't think screen on time is much appreciated but not bad either i would say so that is the battery performance of this rom it comes with the basic standard app drawer of all these cyanogen based marshmallow roms and it has all these quick toggles and settings and widgets etc you can select all the widgets available so that's that it doesn't have any play store compatibility issues that's that's also a cool feature so there is no flashlight tile bug either you can see and let me turn this off and another feature that works pretty well is whole power button to flash see that works out pretty well as pretty good and the fa most favorite thing, actually all the ROMs support face detection, but this ROM unlocks well pretty quick with my face. Not not now maybe, to the lighting conditions, okay. So but the face unlock feature of this ROM is pretty good. So now let me take you to the features of this ROM one by one. So it has all those basic things, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, SIM cards and etc. The, and now becomes, becomes the main things, configurations, the main settings of the ROM. Now you go to status bar, you can customize your clock. As you can see, I've changed my color. I like my clock in the center with PM and day. One second, let it focus. Slow and steady. Yep. So that's how I like my clock. Now you can see we even have a battery bar on the top. So we have a battery bar on the top. I love that battery bar. The network traffic logo. You can enable the network traffic and also hide when not in use. Hide it. I hide it and it just shows up when I use it, when I get a, any net connections. When like when I do downloads anything. Now you go to notification drawer. It has all the features, notification headers, force expansion, immersive mode, messages, and etc. You go to quick settings and you get like quick or quick pull down from right or from left, whatever you select. So it even has that now bar thing. So let me turn this on. Like maybe there's a bug with this. Yeah, there is something we need to do for this. So enabling the now bar isn't disabling the hardware keys. You need to edit some file in the file manager. If required, please let me know. And going back, I I prefer the hardware buttons. So you have the buttons customization. You get all the recents bar, RAM in the recents, and also you can even get slim recents and omni switch. Both the options are available. Yeah, the gestures most probably. There's app circle bar, pie control, and even a gestures anywhere. I don't use them, but yeah, they do work. With experience, I'm telling you. So those are the basic features. So I love the features of the Resurrection Remix. It has been pretty awesome. Even the theme chooser works pretty well. The sounds, display and light, adaptive brightness, live display. And please, the very first thing when you boot the ROM, make sure you turn this off, reduce power consumption. Now your screen is going to be bright, neither turning low or down the display. So please make sure you turn this off. This is the bug with all the marshmallow ROMs. Hmm. So let me go back. Uh, it has all the features, basic good features. So this actually is the ambient display that uses your proximity sensor to wake up your display. And also 
wake it up when you receive notifications not totally but partial wake up I should say as I've shown you battery has been pretty cool and this ROM even the super sue is pretty installed even no need of even going to the uh, developer options and enabling root access there's already super sue in the settings and even a kernel auditor is installed here opening the performance so I haven't installed any uh, custom kernel as you can see the science and mod kernel so I haven't installed any custom kernel for the review the battery backup and performance were quite impressive let me show you uh, let me show you the performance by playing a simple quick real game of subway surfers let us see how long it takes to load this this is the first time loading it up I've downloaded it right now subway surfers world tour what's that break yep it's loading up so mm, this ROM can be used as a daily driver no major bugs except for the people who want to use the nav bar as you can see the ROM is functioning quite smooth as you can see I'm trying to do many things and I'm not facing any kind of lags or frame rate drops So the ROM is quite smooth I would say so even the gameplay is doing quite well without any kind of kernel and then Tutu score was around 35 to 40 thousand I believe and if you install a proper kernel you're going to get a very good battery backup so yeah I would definitely suggest this ROM to anyone who would like a good jolly features with stable stability CRI for most stable but resurrection remix very very stable and you got a whole lot of features so guys that was my quick review of resurrection remix rom for you eureka so please be sure to like this video thank you for watching this is me signing off